Brandon, we talked before about Grychik, uh, but what is it about that guy? He's just been such a tough out for you guys. Well, he keeps hitting the ball in the barrel, the barrel on the ball. And, um, yeah, we're just having a tough time keeping the ball in the ballpark on him. He's taking really good at-bats on us. Uh, we made some decent pitches, and, uh, you know, he kind of one-handed that homer there off Tommy. But, uh, yeah, had a tough time getting him out this series. Dan Conley, you're up next. Go ahead. Hey, Brandon, obviously, you know, baseball is a, a ebbs and flows, uh, but this has been a particularly streaky start for you guys. Can you attribute that to anything specifically, whether it's the inexperience of your team or just the urgency of all the teams involved? I mean, can you put your finger on why this has been so streaky so far? Uh, not really, no. I, I mean, today for me wasn't one of our better games. I thought Tommy Malone pitched very, very well. And uh, it really gave us a chance to win. Just a couple of the, couple of balls that Grychik hit uh, that hurt. But besides that, through six really good innings, and really gave us a chance. We, we, we shot ourselves in the foot early on by uh, making some mistakes, bases, kind of some poor approaches with runners in scoring position that really could have made it a lot easier on Tommy and didn't. Um, and then just didn't have a tough time getting back and, you know, just didn't have great at bats with runners in scoring position today. And um, made some mistakes on the bases, et cetera, that, that really hurt us. Um, but I've been, you know, I thought we played a really good game last night. We came up short, nice comeback. I did a nice job. Uh, today, it just wasn't uh, a very good day for us offensively. Rich Dubroff, you're up. Go ahead, Rich. Brandon, on that note, you know, you guys had a lot of opportunities in the first five innings. And then against their bullpen, there weren't pretty many, there weren't pretty many at all. How important was it to uh, capitalize on those early opportunities? Yeah, it always is, and it takes pressure off your starter. It takes pressure off your bullpen when you're able to uh, extend leads. And, and um, you know, first inning, second, third, nobody out. We're off to a nice start. Santana in their double, and, and we make some mistakes there on the bases. Um, and then just we just didn't have very good approaches with runner in scoring position today, which we have had. Uh, we have a lot of we have guys that are driving in runs and and doing a nice job. And and today just uh, you know give credit to Tanner for making some big pitches against us and getting, uh, uh, you know, getting us out. Um, a lot of times we got ourselves out too. Some early, early swings that uh, was some things that we have not been doing. And hopefully we'll get on back, back on track tomorrow with a little bit better approach. John Mule, you're up next. Go ahead, John. Brandon, I know entering the season, you really wanted to clean things up on the base pass. Before today, did you feel like largely you guys were doing that? A little better. We have a long way to go still. A little bit better, but we still make too many mistakes. And that's just part of being an inex inexperienced group. And, um, but yeah, we, we, we're improving, but we're not where we need to be. Time for a couple more questions. Brett Hollander, you're up next. Hey, Brandon, with Cisco being thrown at home in the first, was that an, not an automatic go on contact? How does that work there? Yeah, nobody out there, second, third. We made a couple mistakes there. One is hard at the third baseman, you, you need to stay. But you need to know yourself, too. And, and so if it's Velasquez, it's a little bit different. Um, so if it's a, you know average blow, average runner, hard at the corner, you got to be sure. Uh, the second thing is if the runner in front of you goes on that, you need to advance to third base, and we didn't do that either. So uh, kind of two mistakes in one there in that, in that first inning. Steve McGargy, you're up next. Go ahead, Steve. You had talked about the opportunities you had early on against Tanner, but I think you only got one hit against their bullpen. What did their bull, what did their relievers do to kind of keep you all off balance the last few innings there? Um, well, I thought Hatch, you know, Hatch has been he's got good numbers. Uh, hasn't done a, not a lot of major league time, but uh, his minor league career, good numbers against right handers. He's got a nice slider. Uh, you know, Rafael Delisco, I go back with my Cubs days, back in 12 and 13. Uh, it's power stuff. He's been in, I think he's been in Japan. Um, he's a nice sign for them. He's got a power sinker. He's got a nice change up that he, that he threw at the end of Nooney. Uh, so, yeah, we just didn't have, we, we got the tying run to the plate, just didn't get it done today. Uh, 